Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Raz and thank you for joining me today for this short update and my opinion on the stories about Nuno going to Everton which have surfaced over the last couple of days. There was a story yesterday in the Sun newspaper and then it's been banded around to various news outlets today that Nuno has been approached and George Mendes is now talking to Nuno regarding his situation and whether or not he wants to leave Wolves and go to Everton. Now there was a press conference today before the Fulham game and because of it being on Sky, Sky reporters were there asking questions and the first part of the press conference was all to do with this story and Nuno was prepared so that suggests that there has been some contact because if there hadn't have been it would have just been brushed over and no I haven't spoken to them. But there must be something in there and we've got to become used to it as Wolves fans now. We've got a top European manager and a manager who has been incredibly successful in a short period of time at Wolves at the moment. Um, we'll get on to my opinion in a minute. The bare fact of it is that Nuno said that he is staying. He signed a three-year contract and when he came in in May, he made a commitment to work hard every day, which he's instilled in the players. And he said that if he was to leave now and go straight to the Premier League, discarding this project that he's got at Wolves, um, he would be betraying his the players and the squad and the staff that he's brought along on this journey. Now I believe that if you watch his interviews and if you watch his uh, post-match and pre-match talks as well, he talks about growing and developing this sort of culture at Wolves and a success and a hard work ethic. Nuno is a very, very clever man and he'll be well aware that the that success for Everton this season is to stay in the Premier League or at best sort of finish mid-table. They've had a, a really poor start to the season. It won't be his group of players, it won't be his staff that he'll be allowed to bring with him, I doubt. He may be given a war chest in January to sign players, but it doesn't really give you enough time to embed philosophies and things like that in January. So I think that he will stay. I think that this sort of circus that's been surrounding him over the last couple of days is what we're going to have to get used to uh, because he is a very, very good manager and the way that he speaks and the football that we've seen on the pitch as well shows that he is one of the top managers, certainly in the Championship, if not in the Premier League as well, if he was to go there. But I'm not particularly worried. I think that he will stay. I think that what he's done so far is nothing short of amazing. The turnaround from last May to now is incredible. The team, the players that we've got on the pitch, the staff and the ethic and the culture that is at the club at the moment is amazing. And I really, really hope that he'll continue and he'll keep working and as he talks about in his press conference, focusing on the next game. Whereas there's all this stuff about, oh, we're top of the league, big teams are coming in, interested in him. He's got to remain focused and keep those players focused as well. And I think that he will. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Obviously, we all want Nuno to stay. What sort of level of a club do you think it would take to come in for us to realistically be really worried about Nuno? I mean, Everton are a massive club, but if you consider our financial backing and where we are, it's not out of the question to think about us overtaking Everton or at least challenging them in that sort of mid-range Premier League next season. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow after the Fulham game, bye bye.